Okay, we are live here once again. Welcome, guys. This is Reseller Tom. Today, we are going over the top brands to find at the Goodwill bins or a thrift store. And so this is kind of the sell that we're doing. We're looking at brands that are $30 and over. And on this video, we're just going to be more generalized, right? So we're going to research the best polo shirts to find, best pants, best button-ups, you guys can also list it down below what you want me to research. But right now we're going to start off with polos. We're going to look at really good brands and different factors that demand over $30 average sales price. Right now for right now for the polo, the price range that we're researching right now is $30 to 200 and there's some really good brands in here. And this is a really good way if you're brand new to research new um, brands that may um, that you may not know about and it's really important to um, do research and to study new brands because when you do this type of research you become more um, way more experienced and then you'll come across a lot of these brands at the bins now what we're going to go over right now may not necessarily be the fastest sell through rate items but we are going to go through brands that um, have a really high ASP, like an ASP that has over $30. And these brands are going to be really useful because when we go to the Goodwill bins or we go to a thrift store, we're going to become, um, it's going to kind of be locked into our subconscious mind. And then that way, when we come across these brands, um, we're going to be like, okay, that's what we want to pick up. And so this is like one of the best ways to, to really become a master at learning brands. And like when I first started, I really didn't do much, much research. I was just looking at brands that I already knew. And I'm talking like Adidas, Nike, just super common brands like Polo Ralph Lauren. Like at the time I was picking up like anything Polo Ralph Lauren, which isn't really smart because it's so competitive. Yes, it may eventually, maybe like everything will eventually sell. But for the most part, it's either going to sit around for a long time or it's just not going to go for that much money if it's like a super basic polo shirt. And so um, this like series of doing brand research is something that we should all do at least an hour a day. That way we become more knowledgeable at brands. So like when I was stuck at $5,000 on eBay, what really took me to the next level was brand research. And so that's what we're going to do here. And if you have um, a better Rolodex, right? So if your Rolodex is higher, you're going to come across more brands at the bins or the thrift stores, and you're going to get paid more per hour. And so let's just get straight into it. We're going to go through some of these brands here. Really good brands that we want to be on the lookout for. And so we're just going to get straight into it. You guys can leave a comment down below with um, good brands that you like, but we're just going to research like polo shirts just because you're going to find these all the time. So we're going to go through the best polo shirts to find the best button ups, best pants, best joggers. We're going to go through a bunch of these in this live stream. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you want me to research any brand in, in particular but we're going to get straight into it right here. So, so fortunately, a lot of these brands that we're going to look at do have a pretty fast sell through rate. But if you're just tuning in right now, we're looking at, let's just make sure we dial everything in. So I'm putting filters in just so we can really make sure. So the range here, cause like I'm shooting for $30 or higher right now. So anything that I pick up, pretty much is going to be anything over 25. So we're just going to make the range anywhere from 30 to 200. We're going to only search pre-owned. And the reason why we're doing 30 to 200 is because I don't really want to pick up anything in my store that's under 30 bucks. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. I think eBay's changed, and we really want to try to find better items. So let's just make sure all of our filters are dialed in here. So basically what I'll do to search and do brand research is I'll type it in like just polo shirt. So like the previous days we were searching brands, but now we're just going to do a generalized search. And so I'm going to go into why I think things sell for hire. We're going to learn new brands here together. 
And then also like there's some really good brands that I see already that are going to be really useful in your Rolodex. The Rolodex is what took me from 5,000 to 10,000 per month, just learning new brands. That's really what changed the game for me. Because like if your awareness is just like, let's just say it's this big, right? It's it's tiny. Like when you first start, your awareness for brands is, is pretty small. So let's say when you first start, like your, your Rolodex, your brand knowledge is like this, right? We want to improve that. So each time that we go into the bins, we come away with more items. We, like the goals, we, we want to come away with more gold items per hour than like the previous month. So if we're growing and getting better, we're going to walk out of the thrift stores or the bins with more knowledge and more gold items that we take with us. That way we're really making more per hour and we're maximizing the results. The only way we can really do that is by um, really increasing our brand knowledge. So we're going to go through some really good brands here. And um, you guys, if you want me to like research anything, let me know. But let's just get right into it. So Travis Matthew is, um, is, is, is good. Um, but this one, I'd say this person got a little bit lucky with this just because it's nothing too crazy. It is a really good size though, extra large, and it's in really good condition for it being white. I don't really see any stains. And so that's good, obviously, because if there's yellowing, like it's, you're going to get an offer for like $5. So I guess this is like in really good condition. There is a patch on the side. I think this person got kind of lucky and we don't actually know how much was paid for it. Um, but if you're going to find Travis Matthew for the most part, you want to really make sure it has a really good like print on it. Like this is very basic. This person probably got an offer anywhere from $10 to $20. So this is not the best example, but um, you don't always just want to pick up an item just because it's Travis Matthew. So if this had like a better print, it would sell for way more money. So let's just go back here. A vintage Patagonia polo shirt for $32. This there was no offers or anything. So this is a pretty good 90s. So let's just see what this tag looks like just so we can recognize it. So you have the logo spell out there and then uh, made in Hong Kong. And this is an extra large. Like when you find good items, as you can see, this person didn't even put any measurements in and it's still sold, which is really good. And so let's keep going here. Vintage Polar Ralph Lauren, large, navy blue, terry cloth. So this is also very basic. Like sometimes you will get super lucky. Um, we're going to go into some really good brands here shortly. So honestly, this is like, I would say this person got pretty lucky because this person just bought it for $42. And honestly, like I've sold shirts just like this for like, I've, I've gotten offers for like five to 10. So this person may have like sat on this for a while. So this also isn't the best example. So let's just keep going. I'm just going to go into brands that I know are really good instead of just going to these basic ones or, you know, brands that um, I don't really know too much about so here's one william murphy i don't really know this brand so this is what i'm talking about like just at least getting this this tag in your subconscious is good that way if you come across it you can actually look at the sell-through rate in person just to see if it's worth it this isn't this video isn't this video isn't going off of sell-through rate it's just basically looking at solds and we're getting more um brands in our rolodex that way if we come across this you know we can look to see what the sell through rate is but listed at 39 595 shipping this definitely has like a cool print on it and so i can see why it sold for a good amount of money it's also a really good size xxl the bigger sizes always command more money and it has like this plaid color which is really cool so i don't know if i've ever ran into this brand before um, however, now that I've seen it, if I see this at the bins, like, I'm sorry, I wasn't showing it. So this is what the tag looks like for William Murphy and like the print's pretty cool. And so if we like see this at the bins, we can look at the sell through rate with the size. Um, but this is what it looks like. The all over prints, like performance golf polo shirts do really well when they have like cool patterns like this. 
even if this was Travis Matthew, if it had a cool pattern like this, it would go for a lot more money. So let's keep going. Um, William Murphy is actor Bill uh, Murray's golf brand. Nice. See, I didn't know that. So we're learning together. And that's basically like the whole that's the whole reason for why I'm making this because I'm actually learning while I'm making this video and I'm getting more brands. And that way, if and also if you guys don't know, it can also help you. Plus, if you already know what it is, then you know it helps a lot. So thank you for that. Outcast, I didn't know that, so that's awesome. And so that makes more sense now because I've never really heard of that brand or even really seen it. But thank you for that. And so let's just keep going here. So I know Ray Spoon is a really good brand and their Hawaiian shirts do really, really well. Super high ASP. Anytime you come across this brand, for sure, pick it up. Rain Spooner. Really good brand. And it looks like this is like a UCLA bear and like floral all over print. This thing's really, really nice. Pretty much all of Rain Spooner's like Hawaiian shirts do really well. Every time that I, every time that I like, every time that I come across Rain Spooner, I pretty much always get it, especially if it's Hawaiian. This is what the text looks like right here. And they like collabs with UC UCLA, which is in California. So this is really nice. Has the bear, has floral. They have the measurements here, good pictures. This is an XL, so a really nice size. Always show the fabric as well when you're doing your listing, especially if you're doing a lot of women stuff because women really care about the fabrics. Not as much for men, but I would always try to keep a habit to always have like the material tag. So this is really nice. This is a really good brand. Be on the lookout for Rain Spooner if, you're, if you haven't seen it before. It does really, really good. And their Hawaiian shirts do really well. Um, so I'm a huge fan of Lacoste. You guys probably already know about this brand. But let's just take a look at it. So 3XL is a really good size if you want to get more money for it. You may sit on it for a, a little bit longer. But it is a good size and a really good brand. And it doesn't look like there's much staining. The condition description says really good condition. So I'm assuming there's no yellowing in the collar. 3XL is a good size. And you have the, the Lacoste logo right there. If you don't know what it looks like, Lacoste Sport. Is this like a vintage? I'm not too sure. But um, but yeah, Lacoste and also has the, the patch on the side. So let's just keep going here. Puller off Lauren Western. Um, nothing crazy. But yeah, extra small is obviously not going to be the best. But um. Anything Western by Polar Ralph Lauren does extremely well. And so they just bought this outright for 40 bucks. Makes sense because you don't really come across Western Ralph Lauren shirts. And when you do, definitely get it. Anything Western by Polar Ralph Lauren does really, really good. You can tell because this has, let's see if this is Pearl Snap real fast. I mean, I'm assuming it is. Yeah. So a Western Pearl Snap by Polar Ralph Lauren is going to do really good. It's a really bad size, but it's still sold for $40 and they didn't even have any measurements or anything and they probably didn't even need to promote. This is an example of a listing where you really don't have to put much effort into it and it's still going to sell. You'd be surprised. Like there's so many listings I see that sell that don't have measurements, don't really have much going on with it, don't have like a store coupon or anything and it still sells. And so our goal is to obviously put in gold items all the time in our store. Foot Joy is really good. I sold a Foot Joy jacket the other day for like $40 and it sold in like an hour. So Foot Joy is really good. And for the performance polo shirts, it's really important that you find these with um, like really nice all over prints like this. This pattern is really nice. And you can command way more money when your polos have like a really nice pattern like this. It's a decent size. If this was just plain, it probably, I'd probably list at like $24. But since it has like this really nice all over print, you can obviously get way more money for it. All right, let's keep going. Vintage Polar Ralph Lauren. 
um, denim, like chambray. This is really, really nice. And I, I found something like this today. So anything Ralph Lauren that's denim or chambray, always pick it up. And I believe that's a, obviously it's going to be, looks like a vintage tag. Yep. So that's what that tag looks like. This is really nice. So they have the measurements in a, um, on the paper, but I'll just, I don't know. I feel like this takes longer to do. I always just put the measurements in, but this is really, really nice. $60. Not sure exactly how much, but if I were to list this, I'd probably list it. Yeah. Like $48. I do extreme and this looks like a really good condition. So yeah, anytime I find denim or chambray, pull a ruffler and I get it pretty much in any condition, unless it's like just like really disgusting with like yellow stains, I may pass on it, but for the most part, it pretty much always sells. It's pretty awesome. Lululemon polos really, really good. I find these all the time. They're just like, they're kind of difficult to find the, the logo. So they're always like really hard to find um, for men's polos. It's always on the back, like right here on the bottom left. So that's how you can identify Lululemon and usually the, the tag. So if you ever find a polo shirt and there's no like material tag or the size tag is missing and it feels really nice, definitely further inspect it because it's most likely go going to be Lululemon or Viore or one of those nicer brands. And so for Lululemon polos, it's always located on the bottom left from what I've seen. Uh, but always look for that logo, obviously. And that's going to help a lot. And there's so many times that I come across Lululemon. I don't see the material tag. I'm like, dang, this feels really nice. It's got to be something good. And so you may just have to look for it. It's the same with every like their joggers too. like their joggers always have um, a hidden Lululemon logo. And you just have to go out and find it. So I always get like 30 to 35 um, ASP sales with Lululemon like all the time. Um, Lacoste, like anything Lacoste polo wise, I always pick it up. It's pretty much going to be like a 20 to $30 bill every time. James Purse is a really good brand. Let's see if you guys don't know what the um, the tag looks like. We'll just look at it right here. So yeah, standard James Purse. Pretty good brand in women's and men's. So that's a um, a brand to look out for. And like when I first started, guys, like I had no clue what James Purse was. I probably passed on it so many times, but that's why I do these videos to like update my because like you can like learn brands, but then kind of forget them. And so like doing the brand research is so important because you can always like update your update what you already know and learn new things by doing this. And I always recommend to do an hour per day. And by the way, guys, this is live. This is a live stream. So if you guys are getting value, make sure you smash the like button. It's going to help get this broadcast to more people. And I would really, really appreciate that. And also leave a comment down below with um, anything cool that you found recently, or if you want me to look at anything, we're just doing polos, polo shirts right now, but we can also look at other things like pants, other things, well, let's just get right back into it here. So yeah, James first is really good. Vintage Lily um, Dash Polo. I haven't seen this. I've never heard of it. Looks like a vintage brand, 70s rare. So that's what the tag looks like. It's pretty cool print, to be honest. Really cool. I've never seen this, but good to know. So let's just keep going. Okay, the Lululemon, Travis Matthew. So this is what I'm talking about. Like if it's just like a plain Travis Matthew, you'll probably get like a $10 offer. But if it's got cool prints for this, you can for sure command more money. And it looks like they bought it for $30. Here's a really cool vintage polo. And everything I'm showing you guys sold today. So these are active comps. And some of these definitely had some offers accepted. But then if, if it doesn't have like the cross out, um, they either use the, the coupon or they just bought it outright. So this is really cool. Vintage pool, Ralph Lauren. Yeah, like anytime you find Ralph Lauren with any type of cool pattern, just pick it up because, yeah, this one for $98. And 
This is really, really nice. Like if I found this, I'd be so fired up. Not even the best pictures. They don't even have measurements. Um, see how they like, so you can either use your finger, a pen. They use the scissors here, but it is really good to always like point out defects. So right here, they're pointing out the pilling. They have the tags. This is really, really nice. And their condition description, always make sure if you're selling something for a lot of money, you don't want to get that return. Make sure you always have a good condition description because the last thing you want is to get a return on a $98 item. That would be awful. All right, let's keep going here, guys. Okay, once again, pull a Ralph Lauren. Yeah, like anytime you find Hawaiian shirts by pull a Ralph Lauren, anything that looks different from what we usually find um, at the thrift stores or the bins, just pick it up. Lululemon polo shirt. Peter Millar is a really good brand. And this is um, Crown Crafted. So Crown Comfort and Crown Crafted are both really, really good. And they go for a lot more money. And as you can see, this also has like a car looking all over print. If it was, if it didn't have anything, it wouldn't go for as much. But this is the the crown logo, um, the Peter Millar crown logo, and yeah, this is nice. Really good sale there, seventy nine dollars. Peter Millar is one of my favorite brands. And their blazers do really, really good. Proud 90s pink, blue floral Hawaiian shirt. Um, sometimes if, uh, if a Hawaiian shirt, you don't really know the brand. If you can't really find anything with it, you can always... Because like I found... like Sometimes just going off the graphic and the design can sell itself sometimes. And I found some, uh, like a Hawaiian shirt that just has the coolest print on it. And it sold overnight. And I think it just sold just because of the print. So sometimes you can use your intuition. Like if something looks really cool, it can sell. I'm not sure what brand this is. It's an extra, it's an extra large. Yeah, just proud. Um, this is really, really nice. And it looks like it sold for pretty good money. Vintage Wrangler, color block, Aztec. So yeah, Aztec, anything tends to do really well, especially in Ralph Lauren. Uh, Viore does really good. Even with the embroidery right here, like the company patch, it's still sold for good money, it looks like. Fior is definitely one of my favorite brands. Sunday Swagger. Burberry London's really good. Um, Polar Ruff Lauren, Western Pearl Snap, incredible. Vintage Polar Ruff Lauren, Safari, Shooting Military. So yeah, anything like Safari, Military, Western... With Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, it's gonna do really good. Let's see what this looks like. This thing's really nice. It's got the patch right here. So this is like a safari shirt. Super nice. $119. I've never seen that, but if I saw that, I'd be super fired up. All right, let's keep going. Bad Birdie is a newer brand that I've been on the lookout for. I don't think I've ever found it. But it just has the Bad Birdie in cursive right there. Right here, sorry. Has a really nice all over print. Here's the logo. And so the tag looks like that in cursive. Really nice pattern here. And this is just a nice golf performance. I know like we're kind of heading out of, of um, summer. But um, a lot of these brands also will go into sweaters and other things. So we'll look at more like fall and winter stuff here shortly. Grayson's a really good brand. I feel like I've passed up on this brand many times. This is because like the tag doesn't look like anything crazy. But Grayson's a really, really good brand. This polo shirt sold for um, $35. Nothing crazy special about it either. All right, let's look at something else. If you guys want me to look up anything, let me know. We're kind of just looking at like general keywords here. Let's look at sweaters because it's going to be fall here. So 
Let's look at what sweaters are selling really well. I don't really like sweaters, to be honest, but um, we're going to start to find way more. And it's they're going to like they're already starting to sell for me. So let's look at sweaters right now. We'll look at the patterns. We'll look at different things. Let's make sure everything. Okay, sold thousand miles pre-owned only so i'm uh, not uh, not a bunch of sweater sales in the pre-owned category with ranging from 30 dollars to 200 but we can kind of just go through here uh vintage okay so 1995 la dodgers crew neck let's just see what the tag looks like just so you guys can recognize the tag looks like official fan sportswear made in the usa so yeah, anytime you find the, the made in the USA tag, always just look it up. Use Google Lens or just try to look it up because usually vintage stuff can obviously sell for more money. Vintage Shakespeare sweater. This is going to be super rare. But let's just see what is selling in this price range. So you guys can see like the different patterns that do well. I'm just looking for brands. Ralph Lauren sweater. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, this is super nice. That's an interesting logo too. I've never seen this logo. 67% wool, 33 silk. So yeah, like your extra fine merino wool, lamb's wool, cashmere, all those are going to start selling really, really well during um, like starting right now. So Anything cashmere, anything wool, anything extra fine merino wool, anything like even rabbit, like anything that has an animal like fur or wool is going to start doing really well right now. Um, Smith Varsity Jacket. Barbie core is a good keyword. So I'm not familiar with a bunch of these brands, but you guys can kind of see so yeah, like fabrics, suede, a lot of vintage stuff. Let's look at um jackets. I don't sell a lot of sweaters. Like a lot of my sweaters I'm sitting on, so I'm not like huge on sweaters, but let's look at some jackets here. Let's do the price range 50, 200, or let's do 50 to 500. used 50 to 500 so i'm seeing a lot of um my a lot of my jackets sweaters like a lot of my heavier things and hoodies starting to sell right now and that's when you know you should start considering to pick things up so levi's fox fur fox leather aviator bomber jacket for 80 dollars patagonia um carhartt a heart jacket for a hundred dollars this thing's really nice yeah you can't really go wrong with carhartt jackets this is really nice this one looks vintage and it's corduroy so that's really nice let's keep going my bad Obviously, that's what the tag looks like. It's a paper tag. May, is this made in the USA or Mexico? This is what it looks like. It's like a heavy-duty jacket. This would be pretty expensive at the bins, to be honest. That's uh, that's a good sale, to be honest. Like, You'll most likely find those at the thrift stores as well. Even like some of those more like private, um, smaller stores. San Diego Padres. Um, it's also really good, like researching the different jackets that North Face makes in their keywords. So, thermoball jacket quilted. I find these all the time at the bins that I go to. So, like anytime you find quilted, pretty much anything that has like a good brand, like Marmot, Outdoor Research, North Face, Prana, Cool. Like anytime you find 
the quilted like puffer jackets they do really really well so i'm not sure exactly how much this sold for but this looks really nice i found something really similar to this and i even like columbia will do well and like a lot of my quilted puffer jackets do really really well so any anytime you find those they're gonna do really good north face snowboard jacket for sixty dollars patagonia nano puffer so yeah the nano puffers do really good hundred dollars and these are i find these at the bins too and it's that quilted like the back here is quilted are these two different ones that's weird they have two different jackets in one listing that's not cool but um yeah nano puffers do really well this is what it looks like they have two different ones here which is weird Let's keep going. J. Crew Blazers. I heard Blazers are starting to do pretty well. Um, Zenya. I don't even know how to say the first part, but this is a really good brand. Emeraldo Zenya. I forget how you say it. Really good brand. Their Blazers do good. Pretty much anything this brand can do good. I would just look it up to see, like look up the size to make sure it has good sell-through rate. But this is a really good brand. Their blazers do pretty good too. Michael Kors, Vintage Carhartt. What else? REI is really good. I pretty much pick up anything REI Co-op or REI, especially if it's a jacket. This is Gore-Tex, which is really good. Arteryx is really good. If you don't know what the Arteryx logo looks like, this is what it looks like. It's um, I sold a jacket, um, like during summer, and it sold for like three hundred dollars. But that's what the logo looks like. If you ever find that logo, snatch it up as soon as possible before someone else does. But this is a really really good brand, and um, yeah, one hundred and fifty nine pre owned. Really really good brand. Pendleton is a good brand. Let's see what it looks like. This is a um, like a cardigan, it looks like. Cardigans do really well. Cardigans actually sell for a really good amount of money. Made in Peru. This is really nice. $200 for this. Let's keep going here. Hugo Boss cashmere wool jacket. Yeah, Hugo Boss and Blazers do pretty good. They sell for pretty good money. And plus that it's cashmere. Really, really nice. Chore coat. Vintage starter. NHL Kings um, satin jacket for $179. That's a really good sale. Um, Patagonia down puffer jacket. Really good sale there. Pretty much anything down puffer is going to sell really, really good starting right now. So like anytime you find pretty much almost any jacket that is down and if it's a puffer jacket, it's going to do really good, especially if it's in like a key brand, even like Columbia will do good, which isn't really the best brand. But if you find puffer jackets in North Face, Patagonia, Outdoor Research, mountain hardware like those are going to be really good i just sold a mountain hardware puffer jacket in late august for like 150 bucks so this stuff is really really selling right now so i would for sure um try to pick these up because they're going really good black arteryx jacket this is like a quilted puffer jacket and that's the logo once again if you see that logo you Pretty much found a hundred dollar bill plus XXL, really good size. Might sit around for a little bit, but um, it's always going to eventually sell. Um, Patagonia. Let's keep going here. And if you guys want me to look up anything, let me know. But um, keep going it's 
there is an okay brand. Um, but, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're going to tune out here. I still have to list my 20 today. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys very soon. Peace.